Hey everyone, for this week's tech tip, we're going to be covering two of the edit commands that utilize reference planes in Revit. Um, so the first one is going to be to align a member to a reference plane. And this one is particularly useful if you just want to give an existing member a quick shift. Um, in a scenario like this, I'm in just an elevation view. If I wanted to draw a quick reference plane along the side of the wall so I could have my stud just shift there instead of having to create a new one, I can align it to a particular reference plane and then pick the side of the stud, in this case the facing side. Quick little shift to the member and it is completely regenerable. The other option using reference planes is to cut a member down to a particular reference plane. So again, if I just throw up a reference plane, I can select as many members as I'd like. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and select that and it will cut my studs down to a particular reference plane. Now with these reference planes, what is handy is that once you do run the command, if you ever move these reference planes and just give a quick regen to the panel, those members are always going to be associated with those given reference planes. So if you did need to move a particular member, um, or if you also did want to use this to extend, not just necessarily cut down, they're completely linked to those reference planes. And all you'd have to do, move them around, give a quick regen, and they'll follow suit.